All right. Um, oh, next. My man, Kaden. Oh, kia ora. Man. Kia ora, kia ora. Um, Kaden Tuakana, uh, COP25, Te Arafatu, um, one of the best crews I've ever had the, the pleasure of working with both inside COP and outside of COP. Um, you're one of Tuakana's for COP25. Uh, um, yeah, man. So, like, when it, came, when it came to, like, coming up with the roster, like, um, Tiara Fatu had to be in there. We have at least three Tiara Fatu um, uh, folks folks in there. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's not not spamming the whole Pacific with Tiara Fatu, but um, I just, I do want to people to, um, yeah, put Tiara Fatu on their radars because um, it, it's it's a force to be reckoned with. Great movement uh, of Ranga Tahib, and uh, obviously you, you'll talk about it. Um, Kaden, um, when it comes to, um, yeah, um, where indigenous knowledge is right now, um, how did you synthesize that question? What, what, what were your first thoughts about it? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question, a really good question. And when you sent me that yesterday, I spent a bit of time thinking where Mataranga Māori or Māori knowledge is going at the moment, and particularly um, where it's going in the hands of our of our youth, our rangatahi, because in my in my opinion, it's it's never gone anywhere. It's you know it's always mm -hmm. been there. We've always had Kopapa Māori, Māori ways of doing things um, at the forefront of our heads whenever we approach problems, whenever we're dealing with our own people and and sustainability and just just ways of being. What is interesting is how we use that knowledge to navigate through the world right now and how receptive everybody else is, um, Pakeha or um, New Zealand Europeans to, to taking that on and, and using those ways of knowledge and those ways of being as a guide for us all to succeed. So mm -hmm. what I'm seeing at the moment, because I'm, I'm working in the health space um, at the moment, particularly Māori health, and what I'm seeing at the moment is more and more uh, Pākehā and, and just, just people from all over New Zealand embracing that Māori way of being and, and our approaches to health, our approaches to sustainability, um, to community, really taking those on board and um, applying those to everything. So I'm very confident in the direction that Indigenous knowledge is going, at least here in Aotearoa. But even, you know, the, the stage that we've shared, Ghazali, um, at the UN Climate Talks and our Indigenous people's ability to uplift our ways of being and really put that out there. I'm really confident in the way that it's moving at the moment. Mm. And and when when you come to um just, just touching a little bit about the, the Pakia side of things, um uh, so that um um is is it is it is it well enough? Is it good enough? It, it's obviously there's there's more that they can do. Um uh, that that development um, has it been with struggles. Um, what what are you seeing in, on that on that end? Yeah, so it's definitely been a struggle. <laughs> that's, Obviously, that's but um, yeah, it's I guess the struggle comes with um, convincing Pakia that you know it's been said already in, in some of the talks that you've, you've had earlier prior to me, but what's good for Indigenous peoples is, is good for everybody. And our approaches to health and sustainability and culture, it's not um, just specific for Māori, it's by Māori, but what we use to um, build ourselves up is to build everybody up. You know, what's good for the most vulnerable groups is going to benefit everyone. So that is slowly being applied into you know, different areas of the way we do things in Aotearoa, not fast enough, nowhere near fast enough and not soon enough by any means. But we are moving in a direction. I, I work at the Ministry for Māori Development um, and we're trying to push those things out at the moment and and um, land those in different organisations so we can see those filtering down at different levels and particularly for Fano um, in their communities. So. It's a struggle, but hey, getting there. Yeah, um, Kaden, a little bit about your personal story, because if if you if you'd like to talk about it for that, because I think it's a very 
a story that a lot of other Indians youth Rangatahi are also dealing with mm -hmm. is trying to regain um yeah the the indigeneity uh, um, 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 yeah can, can you explain that a, a little bit um, to, to get people a little bit more context about you as a person yeah definitely because you're so right it's it's something that a lot of indigenous youth are dealing with and especially here in Aotearoa you know this is such a common thing 85 percent of maori are urban maori who are disconnected from their whenua who aren't you know aren't on their cultural lands aren't able to see um or experience their um history firsthand so that was particularly true for me growing up in um napier and, and surrounded by you know white values and all of that and not really having the opportunity to embrace my indigeneity and, and not really even knowing how to access it, even if I wanted to. It wasn't until um, I started to get into my later years of high school that I realized, hey, there's, there's something to this and there's a key piece of the, of the puzzle, which is me, that is missing. Um, get into my uni years and, and start to rediscover that. And then, you know, as soon as you dive into it and you meet people who are enriched in their um, history, their fucker papa already. Mm -hmm. um, those floodgates just open, and there's there's no looking back. And it's a terrific experience and, and feeling, and you're always learning and always regaining. Um, and then with that comes the drive to okay, how are we going to do this for other people? How how are we going to let our other rangatahi access this as well? Um, yeah, to make this a more accessible thing. So. Yeah, it's you know the the journey is still ongoing. You're always reclaiming and and, and learning your history. Yeah, obviously. Um, in terms of uh, so we always talk about where it is right now in terms of indigenous knowledge. Where do you see it going? Or, comma, uh, where do you like to see it going? Um, 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 yeah, from a youth perspective or in general, uh, what do, what are your thoughts on that? I mean the the ultimate goal. At least, at least in my head, I, I don't want to speak mm -hmm. for everybody, of course, but at least in my head is to have these, um, here in Aotearoa, have these principles of te ao Māori, the Māori worldview, held to equal, um, given equal power as the Pākehā establishments that already exist. And I'm hopeful, and why I'm, why I'm in the work that I am in at the moment is because I'm hopeful that we can get there. And I'm seeing the progress happen at the moment that people are taking on things like um, a program we have here, Fano Water, which is focusing on health, but from the Fano perspective, putting the Fano at the center of, of the, the approach, the strategy and building from there. How do we, how do we make things right for them um, with their priorities in mind? So, Things like that and structures like that, if we continue to build and build and build, and it's a long process and we're all going to need to do our part to make that happen, if we all keep building to that, we're eventually, I hope, going to reach a point where, okay, we can start to unravel some of the health damages that were done to our people throughout all of these hundreds of years. So that that's that's my aspiration, at least. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, uh, we don't, we're running a little bit out of time, Caden. Um, Final thoughts and or yeah a plug for Te Arafatu. Um, last final two minutes is they're all yours. Yeah. Any final oh, thoughts or? First thing, happy birthday, bro. Ah, oh, uh, thank you, well, thank you. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. And and Namahi too. The speakers before me and the speakers ahead of me. I'm sure a lot of men caught it all is going to be shared today. Um, but yeah, Te Arafatu is. Um, Back doing a lot of mahi at the moment. Um, there is a strategizing hilly going head soon, so um, you will see a lot of movements from Te Arafatu in the future, in the very near future. But yeah, no, I think I think that wraps up me. I don't want to take up any more of your time. No, that's okay. Um, Kaden, thank you so much for your time. Uh, kia ora to everyone um, in, in Aotearoa, Te Arafatu crew uh, particularly. And yeah, stay safe, stay uh, stay healthy, and stay yourself, man. I uh, really appreciate you for coming on onto the show. Kapa, you too. Thank you for having me. Kakite.